What's good out there guys? My name's Roll Easy and I'm back today with another solo money glitch video. This is version 2 of the solo money glitch that I posted yesterday. Now in this version you do not need an MOC and you do not need a Lester text, okay? But there are some downsides for this one and some different requirements, okay? So shout out to the founder, Tuta Facile France. What you're going to need for this glitch is you need a full facility. You want it to be filled with RHH just to make this a little bit quicker, okay? We're all about efficiency, so just fill up your, your entire facility with RHHs. You need an Avenger to get glitched out. Now, instead of the MOC, we're going to be saving it in the CEO garage, but you also do need a mod shop in there, okay? So you need a CEO garage with a mod shop, and that garage needs to be full, all right? Make it full, and you want to go ahead and throw one LG Retro Custom in there, okay? You only need one, that's it. And you need to make sure that that LG Retro Custom has a custom plate on it, all right? That's very, very important. The other glitch yesterday, that one does not require custom plates. This one does, okay? It might be the same solo dupe, but this method doesn't give you a fresh plate so you need custom plates and i recommend having multiple custom plates you don't necessarily need the multiple custom plates but i recommend having more because it's just always safer but definitely the most important thing is to have one custom plate on there we're going to be using recent activities uh, you know to get glitched out and also a friend in another targeting mode to teleport all the way around the map so what you see right here is i went into my into my facility and i went ahead and i pulled out an rh8 okay you just need an rh8 out on the map obviously you can use Fagios, whatever car you really want to overwrite but i'm just using rh8 so just make sure you have an rh8 on the out on the map now that's why i recommended having them in your facility because you could just drive out you know and then come right back in and do the glitch so we're going to go ahead and head into the avenger the first way that i'm going to show you how to get glitched out is using uh, a friend in a different targeting mode okay the next round that i'm going to show you is using a recent activity okay so i'm going to go ahead and get the enter cockpit message right here at this door once I've gotten that, I'm going to go ahead and join my friend in a different targeting mode, okay? I know that he's in a different targeting mode, so I'm going to just double tap the PS button, then hit enter cockpit, double tap the PS button again, join my friend, accept the first alert, decline the second, okay? So what you're seeing right here is I'm entering the cockpit, but this alert is taking ages to come in, and it came in way too late. I accepted the first, declined the second, but I'm already in the cockpit, okay? So if the alert comes in too late, that's what happens. Now on PlayStation, if you join your friend once, then the next time you join him, the alert will come in much quicker. Xbox, if you guys need to know how to join a friend in another targeting mode and like that method, go check out my last video. The first way that I show you how to do it is on Xbox with a friend in another targeting mode, okay? But here we go. So what we're going to do is hit enter cockpit, double tap the PS button, join friend, accept the first alert, decline the second. Boom. Just like that. So you saw we were glitched out like at the door and then all of a sudden we teleported onto the middle of the facility floor. That's how you know you did the glitch successfully, all right? You've successfully gotten glitched out. Now, what we need to do is go ahead and teleport. We're not using a lesser text this time. We're going to be teleporting over to the city. So what you want to do is make sure that your hide options are set to show. So you see, go to job, events, and other, and make sure everything is set to show. So that when you press pause, you can see all the blue job markers. Now what you want to do is go ahead and once you hover over a job marker that's close to your CEO garage, you hit square on PlayStation, and that's be X on Xbox. And that will start the job for you. Now once you're in this pregame lobby screen, go ahead and join a friend in another targeting mode. Accept the first alert, decline the second, and you're going to see you're going to get a little message in the top left, network error joining you know, this job, and you will teleport to that job marker. And just that easy, you'll have a glitched out you know, textures and colors and stuff like that, and you will have teleported over to your facility, or sorry, to your CEO garage, all right? Now, go ahead and grab a streetcar, all right? Grab any streetcar, doesn't matter what it is. Now, remember I said your, or your CEO garage needs to be full, okay? And you need your one LG Retro Custom or Benny's vehicle that you're duping in there with a custom plate. So I'm going to go ahead and drive into my CEO garage, which is right here. It's Office Garage 3. I know it's that one. Accept this garage fuller. You're going to be glitched out on this screen for a few seconds, and then it's going to go ahead and show you the CEO office just like this. Your radar is still all screwed up in the bottom left. That's okay. You'll spawn in the, in the CEO uh, floor right here just like this. Now, remember I said have one LG Retro Custom or Benny's vehicle with custom plates in here ready to go. All you need is one. Go ahead, and you see I have a custom plate on there. It says glitching. Press right D-pad to enter into the mod shop. All right, that's right D-pad. Once you go into the mod shop, you just simply need to modify something on the vehicle. Now, me being safe, I'm going to go ahead and change the plate. I'm going to put another custom plate on it. So you see I have a glitching plate. I'm just going to go ahead and throw on my fart crew plate. 
All right, and just like that, go ahead and back out. And you see that exit to Office Garage Zero? That is what you need to see. All right, you're gonna go ahead and press that. If you don't see enter or exit to Office Garage Zero, the glitch did not work, change sessions and try again. Okay, so now once we're back at the garage, go ahead and get out and believe it or not, that's it, you've successfully duped a car. All right, if you look on the map, there's a car outside and it actually says I'm at Ulta Street for some reason. But I end up running outside and you'll actually see that the car is outside, okay? On the next attempt, the car for some reason does spawn over there but i don't know man this glitch is weird okay it can have weird effects now but by mistake i entered the office uh you know i just exited to ground right here i just fast forwarded not to bore you guys so i'm gonna run outside and look what's outside waiting for me right now there is my lg retro custom and guess what plates on there it's gonna be the far crew plate that's the car that i just duped remember we left the lg uh the rh8 outside that is what this is but we duped over it and we made a new dupe okay so now make sure your spawn location is set to the facility go ahead and press pause go to online and go to creator all right now i recommend changing sessions between dupes I've tried to do this multiple times in one session and it can create problems so I recommend just going ahead and going into a new session all right now I'm gonna go ahead and press pause right here once I'm in creator go to online and then go to an invite only session just like that so this can be done in an invite only uh, you know close friend session I definitely recommend being in a free aim session to be able to join people because most people are playing an assisted aim so yeah, and check it out. So I've spawned in my facility now. I have my, believe it or not, my retro, my retro custom that I duped is actually outside. So to rinse and repeat, what you would need to do is actually go ahead and grab another one of these RHAs that I said to put into your facility and just simply drive it out. All right, and you're gonna see that the LG Retro Custom that I had outside will now be over there at that spot. All right, where I pulled out the first RHA before the, uh, you know, the first part of the video. So now simply run back inside and you have the arch on the out on the map, you're ready to go ahead and do the glitch one more time. All right. So if you look on the top, you see on the top there, that middle spot, that is that Far Crew LG Retro Custom that I just duped that was outside. Okay. So it's actually in the spot where the RHA came from originally. All right. So eventually you will fill up your entire facility with, you know, LG Retro Customs or whatever Benny's vehicle you're duplicating. Now for this method, I'm going to show you the recent activity, which to me is probably the easiest one. So hover over, enter cockpit, then go ahead and go to either your recent activities or a friend of yours, you know, recent activities. I just like to use mine for the most part I don't know I feel like it's quicker to get to a little bit more consistent totally up to you but make sure it says start GT online okay so once you're hovering over start GT online like this double tap the PS button to go back to GTA all right once you're here go ahead and enter cockpit double tap the PS button start GT online decline the alert just like that okay if you did it right you should be glitched out boom we teleported in the middle of the facility so to me the recents are the best way to do this glitch okay so now go ahead and press pause remember we're using our hide options for the job markers press square on P ps4 and that'd be x on xbox to go ahead and launch up the job all right once we're in the lobby screen remember go ahead and join another friend in a different targeting mode okay so if you're in free aim you need to join somebody in assisted aim all right there are there is a trick to actually know if they're in a different targeting mode without fully joining them once you're on the alert to join them join them again and if it changes then you know they're on a different targeting mode okay but uh yeah but i know for sure that you know my friend right here is in a different targeting mode so i'm going to join him and then once the alert comes up i will accept it and then decline the second alert all right and there we go i've teleported over by my facility or god i keep saying that by the ceo garage <laughs> we haven't used the ceo garage for dupes in a long time all right so like i said before grab a street car simple as that you got the glitched out colors and everything just grab a streetcar and drive this over to the same CEO garage we used before, the one that's full with the one LG Retro Custom that we're going to be duping, okay? So, Office Garage 3 for me, except the full alert, glitched out screen, then we're going to be looking at the CEO garage from like, you know, an outside view, just like this. Radar is still all messed up at the bottom left, and then eventually you'll spawn on the CEO garage floor. Super glitchy right there. <laughs> Things didn't even load in at the right time. But we're good to go. I'm going to go ahead and hop into this retro. And it's the same one that I duped before, okay? But it has a custom plate. These these cars are safe. Press right D-pad to enter the mod shop, okay? All my dupes right here are safe because I'm starting off with a custom plate. And I'm even putting on a different custom plate after. So it's even safer, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and go to my plates and go to license and change it to, say, the roll easy plate this time. You can even just change the color of the plate, you know? But yeah, make sure it says en exit to office garage zero. Very important. If it does not say that your dupe will not work i promise you it will still be an rh8 outside all right 
So once we've done that, we successfully duped another car in this video. So you see guys, I've shown you two methods now. The last video from yesterday, I'll leave that link down in the pinned comment in case you guys did not see that one. But this one is a bit different. It requires custom plates, which is a big no-no for a lot of people that have lost their custom plates. But if you don't have an MOC and you don't have a Lester Tex, this is a viable option for you, okay? And uh, it does require a CEO garage, but you know, it, it's it's got its plus and minuses, all right? So you see, this time my car for some reason was at Alta Street. So for some reason, it did spawn over there instead of outside. I'm gonna show you a little trick. Just run over to a job marker. I mean, this is if you really want the car right next to you. It's totally up to you. You don't have to do this. But I'm gonna press right D-pad on the job marker and then simply back out just to prove to you that that is the car that is the one that I duplicated, all right? So once I back out of this job, if the loading screen ever finishes here, okay, there we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and back out of the job and somewhere near me, I should have the vehicle that was out on the map, okay? So there we go. There's the retro right down the street. And uh, yeah, that's that's the car right there. It should have the real easy plate there on the uh, on the front of it. There we go. So there you go, guys. I've shown you the methods. This is how you do this glitch. That's going to be it for me. My name is Roll Easy. Make sure you subscribe to the channel by pressing that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Road to 25,000 subscribers. Peace out, everyone.